Hi all, we are here with uh, Alessandra Franzoni, PhD, genetist um, at uh, the Human Genetics uh, at Udine. So, Alessandra, thank to being uh, for, for being with us. No, for me it's a pleasure. Thank you to you to to give me an invitation to come here. So, uh, this morning you have presented uh, a study that uh, you made as as uh, Udine University with uh, the uh, the Russian team. So, what are the best results, the main results of the study? Yes, we got uh, this, uh, this collaboration with the Russian team that it was awarded uh, uh, by the NIRIDIA Europe. And uh, for us, uh, it was a pleasure to uh, display the preliminary data. Uh, we saw that uh, in vitro, we, we can characterize uh, the um, deleteriousness and the, and the function of the mutated protein uh, when uh, uh, there isn't any kind of uh, literature that support the data of a pathogen. So uh, I think that we started um, a new approach for uh, for the classification of the of the, of the mutation variant on Pax6 gene. Uh, also, uh, this could be performed on other genes. In uh, the study, one of the the most impressive figure that uh, you presented was the fact that. Uh, Still today, 50% uh, of uh, the results are negative, so it's impossible to find the mutation uh, within the DNA. But uh, why they are so high in terms of percentage and what could be done uh, to reduce the percentage? So um, I could say that the data that uh, came out for our court is uh, completely um, parallel and confirmed of the data that we uh, can find out in the, the literature, the scientific literature. But uh, now we got new technologies that can help us to reach out the um, uh, the the variants uh, that could be uh, gene that could be uh, related to the disease because we uh, not also analyze the Paxis gene that all w that all knows that is the causative gene but also we can perform a, a genome analysis that can um, help us to find out the cause of a disease and uh, this is very important for us. And so in this process, AI, machine learning, deep learning uh, uh, plays a, a big role uh, and, and, and also creates a lot of perspective and opportunities. Yeah, sure, because the AI, the AI uh, tools are also an open, an open source tools that everybody can, uh, can find out and can, and can use to try to have a prediction of the, um, the effects of the, of the variant. So you can, try, you can use these uh, kind of tools to make a first screening of the variant and then you can uh, um, perform in a second time a functional study to also validate what the AI technology said to you. So, so in, in the future we will have uh, a um, larger landscape, we can say, in terms of finding the mutation within the DNA, not only Pax6 uh, but other genes. And uh, so what are the next steps about it? The next steps for us uh, is uh, uh, evaluate all the cases that are the 50% the, the that are negative for the first screening and evaluate uh, first of all with the clinical exome sequencing and uh, then could be another step that is the whole exome sequencing uh, and in the future I think also the whole genome so we can have uh, a very high characterization of all the, all the genome and so I think that probably we, we will find out something find more answers yeah, <laughs> to, the, yeah. to the questions, yeah, okay? For sure, for sure. More questions and also, <laughs> but also more answers. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for your time and for your answers. No, thank you to you. Uh, for me, it was really a, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.